you have to memorize the activity series? No. You just need to know how to use it. Is that your question? Do you have a question? Yes. Okay, uh, what's, the, what's the one that makes bombs uranium? Uranium is not under, it's too rare, but yeah, uranium would have an activity, activity also. It's just not in the, uh, it's just not in the series that is taught to high school students. The actual activity series would be vastly larger than this one. This only shows about 20 different metals, the most common. But see, see how zinc is right there? Zinc is above hydrogen. Hydrogen is put in, even though it's not a metal, it's put in here because this is the ones that will, will react with acid. If you want to know if uh, a metal will react with acid, you look at the activity series. Zinc will, you saw, because zinc is above H2. Zinc will kick out hydrogen. Copper, however, will not. If I take this copper wire and I place it in hydrochloric acid, the copper is going to be like, eh. It's not going to react with the hydrogen. In hydrochloric acid. Neither will gold. If you put your gold ring into a solution of almost anything, it'll be like, eh, it's not that active. So gold can't can't take out anything. Make sense? Okay. And similarly, if we put lithium in acid, it's gonna go because it's so active. If you put lead in acid, it'll be like, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> Questions? Uh, so if you have like three elements, the two is on the highest above the last one, like the other Correct, yeah. The two on top are the most active, they'll react, and they, the third one won't have anything to react with. It'll be like, I'm not active enough. Well, the, the first period asked if we could put sodium in acid instead of putting it in water, put it in acid, and I'm like, I'll give it a try. I've never put Ask. I never put sodium metal directly in hydrochloric acid, but uh, we'll give it a try. Without yeah. lithium, would it just when explode? When, when are you doing that? Well, yes, but lithium is yes, probably. <laughs> Let's do that. Too. I don't know. I don't. There's a policy in science education is you never do something in front of kids that you haven't tried on your own first. So I might do it, and it'll be like that's way too violent for kids, or it might not work. Be like, well, that's boring. What's well, a waste of time? So I'll have to try it myself first. Moving on. You know, Redox reaction. <laughs> if it's large enough, I think we should just, you know, uh, get a, a, you know, make the five pound bucket of sodium into the yeah. 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 Has someone done that? So make good. sure it's no, because that would burn your house down. Uh, okay, so oxidation states. Redox stands for reduction oxidation. I also like to think of it, although it doesn't technically mean this. I also like to think of it as redoing oxidation states. Redoing the oxidation states. Remember, oxidations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So a redox reaction is any time the, the oxidation states change. So there's our thermite reaction. Very exothermic. What is the oxidation of anything elemental? Finally, zero. The oxidation of anything elemental is zero. Aluminum here has an oxidation of zero. Over here, aluminum has an oxidation of plus three. Oxygen to negative two, plus three. Here, iron has an oxidation of zero. And here, iron has an oxidation of plus three. So this is a redox reaction because the oxidations have, have changed. Aluminum starts at zero, iron starts at plus three. And then aluminum becomes plus three, and iron becomes zero. A redox reaction occurs when you have uh, changes in oxidation states. When oxidation goes up, we say that species has been oxidized or has undergone gone oxidation. If we get time in the spring to do electrochemistry, we'll spend a lot more time with redox. Right now, you just need to know that this is how it works. Oxidation up is oxidation. Oxidation down is called reduction. And again, if we get to electrochem in the spring, we'll spend more time in it. But right now, just realize that's how it works. Up, oxidation, down, reduction. Right. So, what's the reaction? So, what's the reaction? Yeah. 
charges will be balanced just like chemical balance. Good question. So Chris made the observation that the the charges will the oxidation charges will be balanced as well, and they will. If you have a uh, if you have a proper reaction, not only will the chemicals be will be balanced, the oxidation charges will be in balance as well. Yes. I still see no, it can happen with any of them. Like oxygen, you can go from negative two to zero, and hydrogen, you can go from plus one to negative one. So it can go. It can happen with any of them. And again, we're just—I'm just scratching the surface, introducing you to redox. If you want to do a lot more redox reactions, again, if we get to electrochemistry, we'll do more. Um, otherwise, chemistry AP is where you want to be. If you find redox reactions your thing, then chemistry AP, you'll learn a lot more about them. Okay, questions? If there are no questions, we're moving on. We're almost done. Okay, balancing practice. One, two, three, four, five more. I'm gonna choose, oh, six. I'm gonna choose six more military volunteers. I have shuffled your cards in, so even if you went before. You might go again. Choose me. Thank <laughs> you.